what you just ate. <laughs> you gonna, gonna hate. All right, I'm live, baby. Yeah. Gotta get it to work. This thing, come on. Oh, there we go. We finally got this thing going. Oh. Hey, what good? What good, Brandon? What's good, Brian? What's good, J Mark? Zony, Zachy? Rivers? What's good with y'all, Michael? What's good with y'all, man? VRS? Anime? Sky? Rocky? Calvin? What's good with all y'all, man? What's good, everybody, man? Hope everybody doing good. What's good, YouTube? We just got a new subscriber, man. Welcome to the family. Who that? What that name say? Cam? I can't even see it. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video. I decided to go live so I won't have to edit it, but I want to give you guys a full walkthrough on how to cartoon yourself inside a clip studio paint. So I got a customer that just paid me for a cartoon head, so I'm going to use him for this tutorial. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do, you want to make sure you open it up, go to clip studio paint. Then, I'm going to just show y'all the whole process from beginning to end. All right, you click this. Go inside of it. For some reason, it load up twice. I just exit out of this. Then I go to File. I go to New. And that's the size I like to draw. 18 by 18 inches. And I got my resolution on 350. So my size of the art board I draw on. What's up, cuz oh? What good with your man? I got a uh 18 by 18 art board, so that's what I start out with. After that, I go to file, then I go to import image. Then I go to wherever I save my image at, double click it, and it drop right in. Then you just stretch out the size of the picture, man. So you get it. A nice size. Just keep stretching it out. Keep bringing down just a tad bit. That's perfect. Then I drop the opacity down. Just good enough where I can see it, man. Then come right here to new roster layer then I drop it right above the picture then I come over here to pin and then I go to the G pin then I come right here change the color to black and the, the, the great thing about this program bro is if you're using a digital tablet you don't have to worry about setting the pressure sensitivity it automatically connect You know what I'm saying? It automatically connect. I did the broken TV on my. What's that? Hey man, I'm gonna hit you. Hey, I'm gonna hit you up as soon as I finish this tutorial, cause uh, I need to chop it up with you anyway. What up, Chiwa? What up? What's up, y'all? So look, thank you so much for this tutorial, man. Appreciate you, man. But yeah, the great thing about this program, you know how in Adobe Illustrator, you got to set your pressure sensitivity. On Clip Studio Paint, bro, you can just log right into it. And if you're drawing with a digital tablet, you automatically got the pressure brush that you see me use in all my videos. So that's like a huge plus. And I'm going to let y'all know a little something. Just say if I'm trying to make some clean lines. You see the little jitter? 
on this program if you want to if you want to make cleaner lines but you can't do it yourself all you got to do is come right here to this stabilization tool and you can move it up and what it's going to do is going to help you make smoother lines you know what i'm saying so the higher you move it up the slower it'll go but the cleaner it'll help you make your lines <clears throat> Nice and clean. Clean little line, man. Gotta do the nose. Do the little line right here. Still gotta make sure you closing your lines off as well. Do you have any videos explaining shading? I have got trouble figuring it out. Yeah, I got a, I got a lot of videos on my channel explaining shading, but I will be making a, a lot more. So you know what I'm saying, getting more, doing it a lot. So if you get used to seeing it, you'll finally catch on to it. And I'm gonna shade this picture. Y'all gonna see me shade this picture, so. Stay tuned, you'll be able to watch my little method. So right now we're just working on the line work. I'ma come back and close these lines off. And make a little teeth. Sometimes you gotta improvise when the picture got it's just very pixelated. You got to improvise. Bring that on the eyes. I'm going to move my smoothness down. shape of his head it's a very good program man if you wanted to know what if you just started doing digital art and you want to know what you should start with like if you using your desktop man and you ain't got the funds for adobe you, you need to get clip studio it's going crazy and if y'all wondering what i made my little cartoon with that's in the corner that's looking like it's drawing right now I did all that inside this program because you can animate inside of it too you know what I'm saying it junk is real dope <clears throat> and it's only $50 I only paid 50 for it you know what I'm saying you can get the the special version the pro version but I just got the the basic version but it's still dope Make sure we make sure our lines looking pretty clean. We're gonna do our little drip effect that we do on all our pictures. Just add a nice little drip. Okay. Nice little nice little drip, man. And then, look, you got to do the 3D effect if you, you're doing a drip, you know what I'm saying? Come to, it's, it's this tool under this frame border. You might, if you don't see this figure tool that I got, you got to click under this frame border. And then you got to go to lasso fill. And that's what I do all my coloring and shading with, the lasso fill. So make sure you select this. And it's the same tool I use in Adobe Illustrator. It's just named different. I, it's kind of like the pencil tool I use. It's just named, got a different name. And now I'm just filling in the back shadow to the drip, man. Come up here just to close it off. 
Come on this side, do the same as that thing, just close it off. Go right here. Add a little drill. I bet. Alright, come on this side, add some more little drips. Okay. Now Everything coming together slowly but surely. I'm gonna use this to fill in the eyes too. So I'm just coming just like that. Yeah, this is this a real good program, man. You can make you some good quality cartoons using this program. So I'm gonna just use this. Just go like that, bam. Let's see how we looking. Step back a little bit. Okay, everything coming together. Go back to my G pen. Change the size of my brush right here. And the opacity is right here. It's just so much you can do. You know what I'm saying? So I just change the size, zoom in. Gonna draw the inner detail inside this ear. So I'm gonna come right here. Okay. So I'll be licking. I always step back and look at my picture where I'm going so I can make sure everything looking nice. And tight this bottom line and just like I told y'all you gotta make sure you closing your lines off so you won't have no problems when it's time to do the coloring let me bring this back so anytime you want to go back or delete something you just hit control and Z that's the shortcut key Everything looking nice so far, man. Okay, look. I got brush a little smaller. Just add this little line right here. Come on this side, do the same thing. Now we gotta do the tedious work. It's gonna be the facial hair. So all we gotta do is just come in. <clears throat> and we just gotta go back and forth until we get that effect. But it's looking like some real nice pieces of hair. This would be the part I fast forward if I was making a video. So if y'all see a lot of tutorials I got and I'm fast forwarding, it just be on the parts like this, where it's just, you already know what I'm doing. And your boy playing Paul G tonight, man. So if y'all trying to play Paul G, go ahead, download the thing on your phone. It's a mobile game that I like to play on the pub. Download Paul G, man. If you ever want to get a, if you ever want to look up and you catch me on, man. I'm accepting all friend requests on Paul G, man. If you trying to run them up on Paul G, go ahead, download it on your phone. On your phone, on your, on your iPad, on your tablet. It's a mobile game that your boy love to play. So if you ever wondering what I'm doing, what's your, what's your name on that, cuz? I'm going to add it. Uh, send me a request. Send me a friend request. My name uh on there, Chi World. Send me a request, I'ma add you. But yo, yeah, y'all can catch me on the pub, man. That was your boy. I love to play PUBG. I gotta set my controller.
that right. My buttons got switched up. I'm still straight though. I'm still that fine now. Still catching bodies now. But yeah, I'm just talking y'all ear yeah, while I add all this here. This the this the only part I really hate when I'm doing cartoons. It's like when somebody got like a a beard or something where you gotta do the little hairs and all that. Like, damn. Cause it just takes so much time. But I'm gonna make me a hairbrush soon, so this shit gonna be. As soon as I make the hairbrush, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it it's just for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have it cheap so y'all can, y'all can have it and save you some time. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna really take my time making a, making a nice little brush package for y'all. So for everybody who doing cartoon heads, gonna be able to have some cheap brushes. For real, for real. And another thing about this program too, bro, you can create your own custom brushes on this program, bro. It's just so much. It's so much you can do. You can animate using this program. You can just everything. It's a real deal program, dog. Especially, and it's catered to the the anime animators and people who trying to make books and comic books and all that it's just a real dope illustrating program and i also make i make a lot of my my thumbnails using this program so it's like a it's like a all-in-one bro you just as soon as you learn it it's it's a goddamn gold mine and it's only fifty dollars, like one time pay. So like this was a, a super deal. Now on the app, if you get the app that's on like the iPad and junk, like if you get the app Clip Studio Paint, I think they charge monthly. But if you buy it on the desktop, it's like a one time pay. Oh yeah, Jeremy, what server you play on on PUBG, man? My girl want to know. What server you? You won three chicken dinners in a row. I gotta see. Yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Um. <laughs> who said that? Jeremy, bro, we're going to play with you live, bro. See if you capping, bro. We be on that thing, bro. Hey, man, one day on here, we're going to just have to pick a day where we just playing games, bro. Well, we just play the game. And every game I start over, I'm going to just pick a new follower of mine and we're gonna run a game and then i'm gonna go to the next four three uh two subscribers and we're gonna play with them me and my girl we're gonna play with y'all and we're just gonna keep swapping them out man y'all gotta run a game with your boy with the squad with the game but yeah i love some pug g pug where is it for now I'm almost finished with this hell. See, that's why I told y'all, bro. This the only part I hate when I, when I got to do cartoon heads. It's the head. I'm like, damn, this shit taking forever. So, as an artist, you should always try to figure out what can I do that's going to save me time. But it looked good, though. I ain't going to lie. It came out good. But this is a nice program. Like... My favorite thing to do inside of this program is line work because it come out so crispy, dog. And the brushes is just, just amazing. Just the pressure, the pressure sensitivity on this program is like super dope. It might, it might even be better than Adobe Illustrator. It's just the fact that I'm so used to using Adobe Illustrator. Because that's what I really started out with. But this is a super, 
I'm giving y'all the real. This is a super dope program. And you can't beat the price. You know what I'm saying? So, y'all ever get up $50? Or well, instead of buying that new video game coming out, y'all need to get the goddamn Clip Studio Paint. And what you do is you buy it. You go to the you go to the website and you buy it and they send you the copy to your email, like the passcode to your email and all that. And then it say you can save it straight to your desktop. And you jump right to it, like it's real easy to to figure out. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's my little cousin. Yeah, that's my little cousin. <laughs> I been talk I'm gonna call him after. Hey, you gotta get on Paul G with us, man. Right after this, uh, when I'm finished with this video right here. Brad, what's up, bro? Skis, what's good with you? Okay, this came out clean, man. Uh, let me zoom in. We gotta draw the little gum effect. Let's go ahead, boo. Bring this like that. But look how clean these lines is. And I got the sta the stabilizer on my brush at 51%. So it can get even smoother if I move the higher I move it up. We just got a new soul, man. Welcome to the family, man. Make sure you hit pull notifications so YouTube won't let you miss nothing of your boy. Also, I need to show y'all my price list too, bro. I'm finna show y'all that. So you're wondering, bro, I watch your videos all the time. I wanna purchase a cartoon head and I wanna watch you make it on your YouTube channel. Oh shit, I made a mistake and colored the whole picture. You know when you color the whole picture when it start doing that loading thing. Yeah, okay, let me step back. Let me, okay, bet, color that. Okay, everything looking good. All right. Look, a quick a quick commercial break. I right, anybody who wants to purchase a cartoon from your boy, I'm finna show y'all my prices. Don't let it scare you, please. Uh, here you go. And here go my prices, man. All you have to do is hit your boy up on Instagram in the DM. You know what I'm saying? Let me know which one on my price list you want. And how it work is, I send you a PayPal request or a cash out, whatever you use. And I send you the request for the payment. Soon as you make the payment, you send me a picture of yourself. And I will have that picture back to you in a day or two. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it works. Soon as I get to the person, I talk to them. They tell me which one they want on my price list. I send them the request for the payment. They send me the picture of they self that they would like me to cartoon. And then we do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Then when I'm finished with the artwork, I send them a high quality file to their email. Just in case if they wanted to post it as their profile picture. Or if they wanted to go get it blew up and hung up in their house. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it works. And then you can also, once you buy a picture from me nine times out of ten, I will turn it into a YouTube video or a tutorial or whatever. But it will nine times out of ten be on my YouTube. So it's like you get you get a video that you will be able to always go back to forever. And you get some dope artwork. You know what I'm saying? So that's how it works. I know a lot of people be asking in the comments. Be like, bro, how it work? Bro, how you do it? I how do I get up with you? All you got to do, get up with me on the IG that is in the description below. You feel me? Nah, I'm back using the um, lasso fill. And what we finna do, we finna color this hair in. So I'm gonna just trace, trace the outline of it just like this. Bring this over like that. And follow that. Okay. Okay. Close this off like that. Bring that like that. 
Okay. See, everything looking clean so far, man. And I notice he got, got a grill right there. So, I gotta make sure I close this, these teeth off up here. This is gonna be like a, a grill. So I gotta separate it from the other, other teeth. So, pull this right there. See how we looking. Okay, bet. But then, just like I told you, you gotta make sure you closing your lines off, man. I'm finna bring this line up. Bring this over. And I'm gonna come to the other side. You can't leave no gaps if you're gonna have some problems when it's time to color. Okay, now we officially. Wait, let me add this little crit. This little line right there. Now that we officially finished with the line work, we can go ahead and delete the image. And what you want to do, you want to duplicate the line work. Come to the bottom copy of the line work layer we just made. And we're going to find a nice skin tone, a nice base. Let's see. They got a new soul, man. Welcome to the family, man. He that pull notification, man. So you'll be notified, man. Anything you will drop, God dang, you eat, man. All right. We found a nice base color. You get your, in this program, all you got to do is get your paint bucket and drop that junk in there. Just like that. Bam. Bam, you ain't gotta do none of the steps you gotta do on Adobe Illustrator. You just gotta drop it in there. And you see how we got a lot of areas it didn't fill? Uh, and that's where you pull back out your, your lasso fill tool. You just grab that tool right there and you just trace around, just like that. And then fill it in. And just fill all this in that it missed. So I'm just gonna trace around this. Just drop paint right there. I'm gonna zoom in close. Make sure we ain't got no little openings. Fill all this in. So I like to be sure. I like to have everything clean. See how we got some cracks right here? We gonna fill all that in just like that. Bam. Fill that in. All right. Now we got the base of the skin tone laid out. Now what we finna do? We finna duplicate the line work again. Now we're gonna do a layer where just the do-rag, the headband is on. We're gonna do. And the reason we duplicate the line work, so the when we use our paint bucket, you know how that works. It only it'll only fill in the area you selected. So we're gonna put everything on its own layer. Just in case we need to switch up colors or tweak them or anything. Okay, we put that on its own layer. We're gonna duplicate the top copy again. That's why you always wanna leave a blank copy of your line work. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna duplicate it again. And now we're gonna make a copy. I mean, make a layer just for just for the lips. You know what I'm saying? So, and I always make my top lip darker than the bottom. And remember, <clears throat> we can always tweak these colors. That's why we put them on the layer by itself. So let's see. That's kind of too, too pinkish. So while I'm on that layer, I'm finna go to edit. I'm finna go to tonal correction. And I'm finna go to hue saturation. Let me go to. Hmm. Oh yeah, I try. I'm gonna show you my. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my price list again too once I'm finished with this picture, so y'all can check it out, man. And I'm gonna just keep. I know it's a lot of people just jumping in and want to know how it works. Okay, wait. Let's try to find us a nice. Come on, uh, 
on some nice little color that blend in. Okay. Need, need to make it a little more. It gotta have a little more red into it, but not too much. Okay, that's cool to start out with. No, it ain't. <laughs> Wait. Bro, I have a hard time finding colors, but shit, I just keep playing with it till I get it. Pause. Look, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Okay, it's easy. It seemed like I just put the same color back that I just had <laughs> the fuck hey man yeah that's it that's it that's a good base color <laughs> look now i'm finna tweet the skin tone because i that's kind of too pale for me so let's go okay put a little red in there put a little orange okay bring it this way use tone correction See there, I'm learning something new. You can tell I ain't used to this program as much, but I got a, I got a little, a little sauce with it. You said use what tone correct? Oh shit, I went to tone curve. What tone correction at? I put. Oh shit, I found something. All right, I got buddy looking too goddamn dark. Okay, look. I bet that's right there. I think that's it right there. Yeah. All right, look. Now we're finna create another layer. You gotta create a lot of layers so you can put everything on a layer by itself just in case you need to tweak the colors. I'm trying to tell y'all. So we made a layer just for the eyes. So let me go ahead. Get out the color. Get out the color white. And, and since white is gonna be on the teeth, we're gonna put the teeth and the eyes color on the same layer. So I'm using my lasso fill tool to color all that in. I'm gonna come down here to the teeth, and we're gonna we're gonna color all this in. What you say? level correction okay bet i'm gonna use that i'm gonna go back and use that level correction let's see we're gonna make his gun too while it's on this layer go ahead add the gun so this is um for beginners it's a hundred times easier, man, because you don't have to do all the steps you have to do using, because you got to do a lot of steps using Adobe, just the color, you know what I'm saying? But on this, you can just use your paint tool, just straight up. You ain't got to set nothing to use it, but on Adobe, you got to set a lot of things to be able to use your paint bucket. <clears throat> Let me see, we got to do this little grill a bit. I'm gonna bring that up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and bring that up now. Now, what he said, use the level correction. Yeah, okay, bet. Bet. Yeah, I need to bring this up right here. And remember, this is just the base color. You know what I'm saying? We ain't adding no detail yet, but we are going to add the detail. So. Uh, we got the base color all laid out on our picture. You know what I'm saying? And the reason we put everything on its own layer, now look at this. What you can do is, just say if I wanted to shade his face, all I have to do is right click my base color on his face, go to selection from layer, then go to create selection. And what, what that's gonna do is, not let me color outside of that layer you know what i'm saying so just say if i wanted to shade it it won't let me color outside that 
that's why you put everything on separate put all your different colors on separate layers so you'll be able to make your job a lot easier man so what we finna do i'm finna create a new layer while i got the selection on and put it right above the skin layer and we finna start adding the shadows so i'm gonna right click this color and i'm gonna create a shadow from it Okay, that's pretty good and what I'm doing when I draw my shadows I just look at the picture I'm copying so I'm looking at this photo and I'm adding all my dark shadows while I see them on the original picture so let's bring this over come back this way and close it off and I shade with the uh the feel the lasso feel tool that's what i do all my shading with so we got one shadow in place he got shadows under above his eyes i come right here into this crease and sometimes pictures don't have much shadows showing so you don't have to draw too much shadows if it's not showing it you know what i'm saying and let's move our stabilization up on our brush so we can make cleaner, cleaner lines. Bring the shadow back this way. On this way. One. And on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. Shadow this way. Bring it back. And um, add a little shadow onto this headband just like that. I made it go come too far down, so I gotta start over. Just hold Control Z to delete. So let's start making this come up a little higher. And I even when I'm creating my shadows, I put them on separate layers too, just in case I need to tweak the color. And I don't want it to affect everything else. That's why you put everything on its own layer. <clears throat> so you can make your job easier just in case you see something you want to go back and fix. When you put it all on the same layer, it's kind of flat and it's harder to work with. But when you put it all on separate layers, you can really just have that free creative control. Bed. we got that shadow gotta add a shadow under the neck so it just come on across like this then we come down like that we gotta add a shadow right here so let's just bring it down bring it up We gotta add a shadow. See, I just slowly, <clears throat> I just look at my picture and I'm looking at my shadows and I slowly put it together like a puzzle. You know what I'm saying? Piece by piece. I keep looking at my picture, my reference, and I keep finding the shadows from the original picture I'm using. I'm just looking back and forth and wherever I see my shadows, that's why I go back and add it. So we got a shadow right there. I notice he got a shadow on this side of his face. Come right here. Then we come back. Shadows is just like just like you drawing a picture, you gotta draw your shadows. So that's how you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it like you would if you was drawing anything, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just looking at where I see my shadows on the picture and I'm placing them. Bring this line up, close this off. Bring this up. Oh, it's a process, bro. I just started. It's gonna look, it's gonna look just like it. Let me 
see. Oh. Oh, you did. Okay, bet. So we getting on pull, bro. When your butt finny we did got that ain't bitch up, man. You know what I'm saying? And also, this is a different program, so it's gonna give you a different feel from most of my tutorials. Cause I, I, most of my speed art videos I did using Adobe. So just the styles of the brushes are way different, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Now what I'm gonna do, I wanna make I wanna make these shadows a little darker. Wait, I need that. I see another shadow right here that come up like this. So you just gotta pay attention to detail. Okay, so she got a shadow right there. And I know you got another shadow somewhere. Let's bring this over a little bit. This is our dark shadow. But this ain't gonna be the only shadow we put on. It's just we just gonna do so much with the dark shadow before we create another layer for an even lighter shadow so to have a, a nice depth of feel if I said that right. Let's see. We gotta come add the shadows that's inside the ear. The shadows really supposed to tell you the shape of things. You know what I'm saying? Without shadows, your picture, your artwork will look flat. But when you start adding shadows, it'll make it look three dimensional. You know what I'm saying? Let me add a shadow right, right here. And this lasso tool, I mean this lasso field tool, man. I'm telling y'all. It's just like the pencil tool on Adobe Illustrator, bro. It's like, it's like the the secret sauce. Ever since I found the lasso field tool, man, it made coloring so much fun. Cause all I gotta do is just draw it and then it'll fill it in. It's like I'm working with the brush. Like the brush is helping me. Like, yeah, I, you draw a T and I'm gonna go back and color it, but you don't even worry about that. I got you, bro. Just, just draw it, draw it. Show me where everything is, and I'm gonna color it. Yeah, but that shit. There you go. Wait, I see another shadow. See, you just gotta pay attention. You gotta pay attention to detail, man. Y'all wondering, how, dang, why his cartoon head looking like that, but mine looking like this. I'm paying attention to detail, man, if I'm moving to the next step. I'm really taking my time. I'm focusing on the picture I'm looking at. I'm keyed in, locked in. I bet. Now we got all the dark shadows where they need to be. Now we're going to tweak it. We're going to make it a little darker, man. So uh, I need to come back to... While I'm still on that layer, I need to go to... Let me see what I went to. Let's see this tone curve again. I'm finna play with this. Pull this down just a tad. Pull it down too much. Okay, cool. I like that right there. I'm gonna hit. Like if I hit okay, let's play with some more curve. Bet. That gave me a nice true color. Okay. I'm going to hit. Okay. And now what we're going to do. We're going to create us another layer. Right under our dark shadow layer we just created. And this time we're going to go even lighter with our shadows. So I'm going to sample the skin tone. And then I'm going to create me a color that's lighter than that. So let's see how this looks. Let's try this out. And now when I'm I'm still looking at my my uh, original photo for a reference, and I'm looking for all the lighter tones that's right next to the dark shadows. So I see he had one right there. And now that I'm looking at it, let's tweak this color a little bit until we get it to flow 
is you want to make sure the colors you're choosing flowing perfectly into the next color. Uh, let's try to. Okay. Make it, make it a little brighter. And now I need to be a little. See, my eyes be playing tricks on me. Okay, there. It's cool right there. Yeah. Sample that. Go to my lasso field. And we finna find all the lighter tones. Okay, I'm looking at my picture. Okay, I see this shadow coming right here. Finna come up. And it's a little shine right here. Allow this in. We got that right there. Bring this back. Bring this up. I notice on his nose. Got a little light shadows right here. Let's come over. Oh, we just got another sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Make sure you hit post notifications so you'll be notified. Bring this line over right here. I'm just following my picture, y'all. You just gotta focus in on your original photo to find all the shadows. We got another sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Do you play Fortnite or just PUBG? I just play PUBG. I ain't never played. I never played Fortnite ever in my life. I never, I never walked on the game ever, ever. But you know what? I am, once I do decide to like try it out, I'm gonna make sure I do it like on YouTube so y'all can see like the first time me ever playing PUBG. I mean, uh, Fortnite. I'm so dear. I'm so, I'm so loyal to PUBG. But yeah, man. I'm just, I'm just following the picture. Just following the picture, man. That's all y'all got to do, bro. Concentrate. Take your time, bro. Take your time. The more time you, you spend on it, the more time you focus in on your picture, the better the outcome will be. So if y'all ever be wondering, like, dang, how does shading look like that? Why you shading look? Because, bro, I just focus. I take my time. No secrets. I don't do nothing extra, I just focus. Okay. Got shadow. Got shadow that come on down. They got another sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Make sure you hit post notifications so YouTube will tell on me every time I'm on. There we go. Got this shadow that come around like this. Then it close off just like that. Okay. It's coming together, y'all. Yeah, we're gonna do his teeth on a there's teeth on another layer. I'm just focusing on the skin right now. And then once we get to the next part, we're gonna do the teeth. So you gotta do it piece by piece. Focus on one area. And every time I do a cartoon head, that's what I do first. I start on the skin. I shade the skin completely. <clears throat> right after I finish shading the skin, I go straight to the eyes, and then I do the mouth, and then I do the hair last, and then I be finished with the masterpiece of the cartoon head. But yeah, man, this is a real solid program to use, bro. If y'all was wondering, bro, what you, what you think I should get, bro? 
you see you see what you see the results i'm getting with this bro this don't fire and i don't even know all the functions to it yet so imagine if i just knew the ins and out to this program like i do adobe this is this is me drawing not knowing <laughs> not knowing much but imagine when i learn this program it's gonna be crazy so that's to let you know something this is a good program you can pick up and you can get straight to it even if you just buy this program and you watch this only video if you watch this whole live you can you will know how to get started because all I did in this video was use two tools. I only used the G pen and my um my lasso fill and the paint bucket. My bad. So I lied. I just used three tools: the the paint bucket, the lasso fill, and the G pen. That's the only only three things I used to create this picture right here. Three tools. So now, now that I'm looking at it. I'm starting to realize I want to make a even darker tone, but before we do that, we're going to create us another layer. But you see how the shadows make it look three dimensional. Now watch when I turn off all my shadows, it's just going to look flat. That's why shading is very important. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to give it that 3D feel. It's going to give it dimension. So watch this. I'm finna add the highlights to the face. So I'm gonna sample the skin tone and I'm gonna find me a little brighter color right there. And we're gonna add, I'm still looking at my picture. I'm, I'm looking for all the little shines he have on his face. And I'm just placing them where I see them on the original picture. So as long as you stay following along with the original picture, you ain't gonna be able to do too much wrong. You know what I'm saying? And I need, I'm gonna turn these colors down because they're a little too bright. Or it's being too much of a focal, a focal point. Let me see. Just place all the highlights where I see them on the picture. We got one right here on his cheek. So come up right here. Mm -hmm. Got one in this little crease right here. We got one on his chin. I'll turn it down a little tad so it won't just be so noticeable. A little tad right there, blend in perfect. Bet. Now. What I need to do, I want to create me another dark shadow layer. So I just created a new layer right above this shadow. I'm find a color that blends into it. And I think what color would blend? Right. You got a new soul, man. Welcome to the family, man. Trying to find a nice little color that blend. Okay, that's cool. That's good right there. If it's wrong, we can always tweak it. But I notice he got some dark shadows inside the nostril. So we got to come right here. So the more. And see, I need to tweak this color so it'll flow better with the rest. So I got that one shadow selected, I always start finding the, the right tone after I put one shadow down. And it's just an eye thing. You really just got an eye to what you know, it need to be. back this way I'm like OCD when it come to colors and sometimes I manage still picking the wrong colors <laughs> I um, let me 
to see. It's too reddish. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I'm getting closer. I think that's it right there. Damn, that's too bright. Let me go back to edit. Tone curves. Pull this down, make it darker. Uh, okay, cool, that's straight. <clears throat> now I need to sample that color I just made by right clicking it. If you want to sample the colors, you just right click onto the color you want to sample. Okay, good. Put a shadow right there. And maybe put a in this crease, it'll be a dark shadow. If I'm still looking at my picture. I notice it's a little darker right here. Come up right here. And we got another dark shadow in this crease. We just got a donation, man. Who we got the donation from? Quentin. Appreciate you for the donation, fam. Thank you, man. Thank you for the love, man. Yeah, but the shadows is going to make your work stand out, bro. Because if I would have just, just say if this customer asked for a cartoon head and I would have just did the line work, did the base color, and sunk it to him, like, he would have been like, okay, that's cool. But the shadows is what's going to make people like, bro, that's that's what I want. It's going to make you, it's going to make your artwork an eye catcher. So just practice on it. Practice on focusing. <clears throat> practice on focus on focusing on finding the shadows with your eyes, bro. Don't overthink it. Just look at your picture. Just you know what I'm finna do. I'm finna get this little airbrush tool out with the soft brush. You know, I got my dark shadow. You know. Help this hair out a little bit, make it look more fuller. Make it look a little fuller. And we pretty much. And then right after I'm finished, I'm going to show y'all a little trick too. Right when you finish creating. I'll, when I finish creating... And I'm done editing my line, my uh, all my line work for the uh, all my shading for the skin tone. My bad. I'm gonna show y'all what I do. Just save you some space, cause you know once you start making a lot of layers, you could you can make your computer start like moving slower. So I'm gonna show y'all what you're supposed to do, man. Or what I do. You know what I'm saying? So put a dark shadow right there. Put one on this neck right here. Put one under this headband. It's just a little closer. Okay. Shadows make a difference, man. So you got to master it. I know a lot of people be like, man, I hate doing it. But you got to master it, bro. If you want your work to just get to that next level. Yeah, shadow right here. I'm just looking at my picture still. Okay, cool. Hey, 
everything look nice and tight. So now what I do, once I'm finished with all my shadows, I merge them all together. I merge all my shadows together. So with my base color as well. So what I do, I go to my top shadow I created, and then I come up here to combine to layer below, and I just keep clicking it until they all close in together. Now, while they all together and you got all the tones right within each other, just say, now when you tweak it, tweak the colors a little bit, it's going to change all the colors. You know what I'm saying? All the shadows together. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm make them a little more, make them a little more redder, but also add some orange. If I can find it. Okay, I'm going the wrong way. This is how you look when you super cold, when it's cold outside. All right, look, here we go, go this way. Let me give them a little more tone. And I think that's that's on the money. You see that, T? Oh, you ain't even looking. Oh, it is? All right. Okay, bet. Bet, we finished with the skin tone. So now what we finna do, let's go ahead and come to this headband. Create a selection around the headband. Now, I'm finna go to my airbrush tool. I'm gonna go to my soft brush. Cause I'm tweaking it, I was tweaking it. Then I go to my soft brush, I get a darker tone. With my soft brush tool. Bring the fade down some. And now, gonna add a little shadow on the on the headband like that. You know what I'm saying? Also, if we want to be extra, we can just give it that texture. Gonna give it that little texture, man. That's another thing that's great about this program. You get like the best of both worlds. So. Let me go ahead and sample this color right here. So we can create a little highlight. Create a little highlight right there. And also, go darker with my color. I'll make a tutorial on drawing hands. I got you. I got you, broski. Let's do a dark shadow right here so it can look like it's, it's standing up. Okay, bet. Uh, we just did the little headband. I'm going to tweak the colors a little bit, like I always like to do. So, go to create. I just want to... I ain't going to do too much, make it a little darker. All right, that's cool. Hit OK. Take my selection off of it. Now we got the headband. You feel me? So it's, it's coming together, man. Now we finna go to the eyes. So I'm finna create a selection around that layer. So it won't let me color outside the lines. Then go to my lasso fill tool. And I'm about to create shadows inside the eyes. Okay, that's a nice color. Create a shadow right here. Oh shit. Wait, am I oh I'm on the wrong layer. Wait, let me my bad. I'm on the teeth layer. I need to go to the eye layer. If I can find the eye layer. Wait, let me take my selection down. Alright, 
I gotta find out what layer did I put the eyes on. Um, I think it's right there. Make sure by just taking the background. Okay. That's the eye layer. Create a selection. Around the eyes. So it won't let me color outside the eyes. Oh, snap. Got it on the lasso field. Here we go. There we go. That's a nice little shadow. Sample this part. Get us a little shadow for it. more color to that okay, there we go mm. how's the thing looking Coming together slowly, but surely, man. Now I'm finna go to my, the layer I got the teeth on. Need to find out which layer is that. What layer do I got the teeth on? Okay. We, we gonna find it, we gonna find it. Okay, that's the gum layer. The headband layer. That's why it's good to name your layers, but I, don't, I still, I know that, but I still don't be doing it. Okay, now I found the teeth layer. Um, select my shadows. Now we just gonna add a few little shadows. On the teeth. Like this, bring it up right here. Gonna add a shadow right here. Gonna come across like this. Shuttle right here. That grill it. We're gonna put one under this grill. Okay, cool. Also need to add some some highlights on this gun. That's too right right here that's pretty cool give it that realistic looking sound effect Cool. How we did the teeth. We gotta find out what layer. Gotta find out what layer we got the god dang gold teeth on. Let's see what layer was that. Okay. Right here. Now we gotta give his grill a, a grill effect. So go ahead and Go to my airbrush tool, sample the grill color. 
Find us a nice little shadow for it. And I'm still looking at my original picture and I'm just placing, I'm placing the shadows exactly where I see it. Nothing special. Okay, we got a little shadow right here. We got a shadow. You just gotta slowly build like a puzzle, man, when you drawing. Okay, we got a shadow that come right there. Another shadow right here. My brush a little bigger. We got a deep shadow. One right here. Another one. Okay. We got another sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Hit that post notification. All right, we got some more shadows down here. Uh, they get darker right here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make my shadows a little lighter by bringing a brush density down. And I'm gonna just use that same color and just Yeah. Okay. Let's come over here. Art is just an illusion, bro. That's all it is. You just trying to make people think it's something it's not, you know what I'm saying? So now, let's get our color black. And I see you got like a little dark right there. And then we go like that. Then it's a little dark right here. Let's come up right there. And then this part is all the way black. Come right there. I just got a new sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Welcome to the game. Okay, we got one right there. We got that right there. Now. That's what's going to set it off. We're going to get out the color white. And we're going to add our little highlights on the grid, man, so that thing can shine. See, we make a fade. We're going to bring our density. The brush up a little bit. And bring this down some so it'll be smoother. I'm just looking exactly at my picture. I ain't trying to do nothing different from what I see. That's why I say you gotta train, train your eyes. All right, there you go. Now you can tell it's a grid, you feel me? One thing I can do, I notice on the picture is a little brighter than that, it ain't. So while I'm on that layer, I can just go to Go to this and make it brighter. Okay, I'm gonna hit OK. Bet. Now what we gotta do? We gotta add the details inside the eyes, and we gotta add the details on his hair and the lips. I almost forgot the damn lips. Let me go ahead and go to that. Let's create a selection around the lips. 
sample the lip color let's create a new layer above the lips put our airbrush tool sample the lip color Fine. okay that's pretty cool bring my density down on my airbrush and we just got to create a shadow right here I ain't got to do too much to it. We just got to create a little, a little shadow. Increase. Come out. Yeah. Now let's create that same shadow. Put on this bottom lip. And there we go. Finish with the lips, man. So now, what we about to do, we about to add the details inside the eyes, and we're going to add detail on the hair. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a layer above everything, above the line work, because this is going to sit on top of everything. So let me see, find a, this eye color. What it look like? It look like is this color right here I got my soft brush out basically my airbrush I'm finna come to the eyes and I'm finna just add a little pocket right here got a small little pocket you don't want to do too much of it you just want to add a small little a small little sauce Like that. Now, I'll go a little brighter. And add it some closer in. A little bit. Got the eyes effect. Now, now we gotta do the hair effect. And we got, I think you got like brown, brownish, reddish hair dark brown and it got a little red in it so your eyes play a big part on creating a, some good cartoon heads as well because the color matters big time I need to find a brush that's gonna give me that nice hair effect so let's see what we got okay I'm gonna go to my little watercolor brush Let's see what this brush look like. Smooth watercolor brush. Let's see what it look like. I need to make it a little bigger so I can get a nice little reference. Okay. I think that's that would be dope if it was tapered. So I'm gonna try another brush. Try this brush out, see what this is looking like. Okay. I think this is gonna be our hairbrush, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it a little, a little smaller. Bring the amount of the paint down. We just gonna create the texture. And if you want to do that, a nice hair effect, I'm going light. See, I'm going, I'm, I'm pressing down light as I can. But in the center, I want this to look like it's shining right here. So I'm gonna go a little harder in the center. Oh, we just got a new sub, man. Welcome to the family, Mike. Hit that post notification, Mike. So, I ain't gonna do too much of the hair because the, the shadows it's just where you see it's brown because the light, where the light is hitting off. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Put some right here. Also, put some back here. Making it flow in the door, or 
all flow in the same direction. Okay, put some over here, but it gotta closer it go to this shadow, it gotta be lighter. Now, to make my brush smaller, make it a little bigger so I can see. Make it a little brighter. Okay. I know this. So highlights right here. Or the hair fold up. Just a little highlight. Let's put all this a little bring it down some. Okay, cool. Nice little hair texture, man. We need to take some color down some. So I'm gonna come up here. Uh, pull it down some. Bring this down. There we go. That's his hair color right there. And now all we gotta do is. Let's merge most of our colors together because we finished. Color this background. A nice. What you said? He wanted a red background? Dark red? Bet. Okay, now we're just going to create the background color. And we're going to be out there. Nice little red. We got another sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Make sure you hit post notifications so YouTube won't let you miss a thing. Oh, yeah, I know it's bright, but I'm finna do my little effect. We got another sub, man. Welcome to the family, man. Gonna give him a nice little, nice little border effect. This one. Okay. Now the color make this black. Oh, 
also want to add one more thing to be extra, man. Got to. Got to be extra, man. I'll go ahead and add a little logo of the NBA symbol. This head, man. So. Put this like this. Get out the color red. And put it right here. Just give the illusion it's on there. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna make it look too perfect, bro. We ain't trying to get the NBA to come. Like, bro, you gotta take that down, bro. Brush it. Oh, I got my brush way too big. Okay, there you have it, you guys. How to make I see some I forgot. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what a um Oh so you got like a little square right there that show that outlay. Well look, there you have it you guys. How to make a cartoon head inside a clip studio paint. I want to thank y'all for watching your boy. Thank y'all for staying tuned, man. Make sure you catch me on some more videos. More heat will be coming soon. And you already know what I'm about to say. Wait, let me look at some of these comments before I jump out. Please do a tutorial on how to shade the way you shade him in your video. Well, shoot, bro. All you have to do, I will post this video up so you can go back and watch it, bro. Where you can see how I shaded it, how I drew it, what I did, what brushes I used, what tools I used. I'm going to upload this video as soon as I close out of it. Can't find you on Pug G. It's Chi World. Is it capital? Capital C and capital W. I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it on my uh in my chat. Name on um, Pug G is at is it oh yeah 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 at Chi World it ain't one two three four oh just Chi World I bet Chi World man so make sure y'all get on that thing and add your boy wait wait what Zachy said yo Chi please do a tutorial on how to shade and clip studio paint the way you show Bro, I'm gonna do that, bro. I promise you, bro. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. All you have to do, though, for real, Zachy, just go back and watch this video, bro. I'm telling you, man. That's why I did it live so y'all can see me make this thing step by step. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, too. I want to play. I want to play with you. Yeah, bro. I'm about to jump on that thing now. So make sure y'all go follow me on Twitch. And for all of those who wanted to figure out how you can buy a cartoon head, man, here go my price list. You know what I'm saying? All you have to do is hit me up on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? As soon as you 
Let me know which one you want. I send you a request for the payment. Soon as you make your payment, you send me the picture you would like me to use of yourself and your artwork. After you make your payment, soon as I receive the money, your artwork will be finished in a day or two. You know what I'm saying? Because as soon as you send that money, I get right to it. Bam, bam, bam. And also, when I'm finished with the work, what I do is I send you a high-quality file like this to your email. And I also, I also, I'm going to finish show you, just like this guy. I just paid for this cartoon here. Wait, let me go back to the thing. He just paid for this. So what I do, I send him a file just like this, and I also send him one like this without the background, with a transparent background where he can put his cartoon head on top of anything. You know what I'm saying? He can use it and put it on his Instagram, his Twitter, Facebook, or whatever he want to use it. He can put his head on a flyer if he wanted to for a birthday party, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I send you those two files. I send you one with the background, one without the background. You know what I'm saying? And I also post a video of me making your cartoon head on my, on my YouTube channel so you can go back anytime you want and watch me create your work. You know what I'm saying? So that's for all those who wanted to know because I know it'd be a lot of people in my comment be like, man, how do I get a cartoon head? What I need to do? How do I hit you up, bro? All you got to do, hit me up on Instagram, bro. DM. The DM. And I'm going to give you a little secret, bro. I love to do cartoon heads, bro. So if you want to buy something, bro, buy a cartoon head, bro, because I love doing them, bro. You feel me? Hit me up on Instagram. Tell me which one you want on my price list. I send you the request for the payment. You send the money. As soon as you send the money and the money clear, that's when I get started on the artwork. I do not draw first i do not draw and i ain't been paid yet i don't do that as soon as you pay me in full your boy get to your work and then i make sure i give you good quality artwork as you see on all my youtube videos but yeah that's how it work man can you teach how to freehand draw bro tomorrow bro i'm going to the uh cc cc creations i'm going to the art store tomorrow and i'm finna go buy me a lot of art pens so i can do a lot of tutorials i mean a lot of art videos of me drawing on paper because i've been in that wanting to draw on paper vibe lately so i'm gonna go to the art store tomorrow and pick up a lot of supplies so y'all get ready for them heat y'all get ready for the heat man because your boy finna drop a lot of dope videos of me drawing on paper you know how that is looks really nice appreciate you rizzy i think i said your name right Appreciate you, man. Appreciate y'all for the love and support. Make sure y'all go follow me on Twitch right now. I got the link in the description below, bro. Under this video, go to the link. Follow me on Twitch because I'm about to get off this thing right here and I'm finna jump on Twitch and we about to get on PUBG. So, y'all trying to watch your boy play PUBG or y'all trying to find y'all way in a match, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get on Follow me on Twitch and go ahead and log on Twitch because I'm about to log into Twitch as soon as I log out my YouTube. And if you want some artwork, bro, make sure you hit me up on Instagram, man. Place your order. You know what I'm saying? Place your order. You know what I'm saying? After you send the money, send your picture. I'm going to knock your picture out and I'm going to send it back to you. To your email so make sure you send your email in the dm as well you know what i'm saying so that's how we do that but yeah that's how i take all my orders man because i always be on my instagram so i take my orders through my instagram i never get on my email so i don't send people to my email i send them straight to my instagram and there's a lot of people who just made instagram so they can contact me for art so if you ain't got one make one just so you can dm me to get some artwork you know what i'm saying but I appreciate y'all for the love and support. Make sure you go down to the description below right now and follow me on Twitch because I'm trying to grow my Twitch, man. Follow me on Twitch. And tomorrow, when I go live tomorrow, we will be promoting the Facebook because we're going to start going live on Facebook as well. We finna, we finna, me and my girlfriend finna bum every platform on social media. We about to hit them up. 
Like Pop said, we about to hit every social media. We about to take over Instagram. About to take over YouTube. Y'all already know that's coming. About to take over Facebook. About to take over Twitch. So go follow me on Twitch. Cause you will on Twitch and play some PUBG with me. And then later in the future, we will be playing other games. But for now, we into PUBG. But I'm telling y'all, we finna we finna really do this game thing all out. But we can't do it all out right now, cause we gotta do this art thing all out right now. But yeah. Go follow me on Twitch. Link in the description, man. I appreciate y'all for the love and support. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for showing love. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out. And I'm getting on PUBG right now, so I'm just letting y'all know, man. If y'all trying to kill me, first, first come, first serve, man.